what's up you guys it's your girl cc and welcome back to my channel at cc loves today's video is going to be all about makeup and the how to achieve the look i'm wearing right now this is the same look i had on for the premiere watch party that we did in my last video also stay tuned for different tips and tricks on application processes and techniques to do certain things um, when doing your makeup I'm uh, super excited to be going over that with you. And also, while you're here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Please like, share, and comment. It was so much love on that last video I did, so I really do appreciate that, and I just hope it continues. So if you're excited to see this video, go ahead and continue watching. Thank you so much. So first and foremost, I usually put my hair up in some type of crazy messy bun just to get it out of your face. But I found this cute headband I keep forgetting I have and I'm going to use it today. So this is actually what really helps keep your hair out of your face when you're doing your makeup, especially applying the foundation. Um, and it keeps your hairline safe, basically. So bear with me while I put it on. Okay, whoa. That's not how it goes. Although that is cute. No, it's not that cute. Hold on. We're going to figure this out. Okay, I'm pretty sure you start like that. And I like to lean my bow on the side like a cholo. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm going to cover my ears just because I feel like it's going to start sliding. Can I? Oh, I guess I could get away with it. Okay. Now you can look halfway decent while filming how to do your makeup on camera. First, another tidbit trick um, before putting your makeup on, of course, skincare is super important. Always make sure you uh, wash your face, apply the moisturizer and sunscreen every day, no matter what. Even on a cloudy day, apply that SPF, girl. I promise you it'll save your life. Um, but before that, even washing my face, I think I do wash my face actually, but as an exfoliator once a week or if I'm, whenever I remember really, I dermaplane my face. So there are different types of dermaplaning you can do. There's more intense ones you can get at your spa, um, medical spas. They use, you know, more products and go into it more thoroughly, more professionally, which is what I, something I do. Um, but at home, I just do the simple derm planning and get one of these bad boys at your local beauty shop um, or wherever you see these. They even have them at grocery stores, whatever. But this is a derm planning tool you can use on yourself. And you're just going to do it all over your face. I didn't used to do this all the time because my skin, believe it or not, was worse than this. Um, and you really don't want to do it on your face breaking out because it just caused more breakouts. If you, especially you don't want to go over your breakouts with this because you're just spreading the germs everywhere and it's not cute but i'll just do like um this like once a week just for like exfoliation process or to kind of touch up you know my little whiskers or whatever because i got some mexican in me so not even ashamed of it proud so but no ladies you know what i'm talking about even like this little area like i'm seeing a little bit here i need to wax my eyebrows really bad but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to touch that up. But basically what this does is take off all that dead skin. So your skin looks a lot smoother when putting on foundation. And it removes all those fuzzy hairs, all the vellus hairs, all the peach fuzz. So it is really helpful um, when going about putting your foundation. And it gets your products on your skin deeper throughout the layers of um, your skin as well. So whenever you are applying moisturizer or some type of tone or anything, it goes deeper into the um, layers of your skin. So, besides that, let's get started. Something I also wanted to share with you, when I'm doing this makeup look, I actually did it um, at work. So I brought my little travel case with me. I didn't have all my supplies, of course. So I brought very limited amount of products that I would use on the go because um, I knew it wasn't gonna be like a full length makeup look. I just kind of wanted to look decent. And I didn't have lashes on yesterday. I just used mascara. So of course, first thing I do, is find what I'm looking for. I was using a brow pencil. This is um a, a goodie 
and it's very budget friendly with Morphe. I know a lot of people don't like that brand um, for whatever reason, but I, you know, I feel the same way too, but I'm going to buy it for myself at least. I don't have a lot of it in my kit that I use on my actual clients, but for me, especially when it's just kind of a whatever look and I'm not trying to be all fancy, this is the product I'll use. So I'm just gonna go ahead in here. And you always want to comb your hairs down or in the right direction, basically. And really just kind of follow your natural brow. This is why it's best to get your brows waxed first um, or tweezed, however you shape your brow normally. Just basically have it ready to go. And then that's the shape you want to follow. So my brows need to be waxed or tweezed or whatever, but we just going to make it like they are already. And I'm just going to start with a line very close underneath sometimes i go a little bit further out so after you do the bottom line you're going to come back and do the top part of your brow and like i said this is kind of just outlining the actual shape of the brow i hope you can kind of see what i'm doing here and if you feel like oh i didn't do that right that does not look it's fine because you're going to go back and we're gonna tweak it and all that extra stuff. So you'll see. So this is just the basic gist of you trying to get that shape you're achieving at least with always your arch lining up to the middle of your eye. Um, whatever that's called, I can't even think of the word now. Cornea, thank you. Thank you brain, delayed brain cells. But yeah, so I'm just gonna make that line longer. And then I'm going to come in using the spoolie that's super convenient on the other side. And then we're going to just comb it through. So we're going to, the bottom part, you're going to comb up. And then your top line, not really comb down, but kind of comb up as well. Just kind of blend it into your hairs as much as possible, as best as possible. So you can kind of see a difference already. I know you can still see that line, but that's okay because we just come in here. And as soon as we start combing, it starts fading and blending beautifully so then we're going to come in and start filling it in now the trick with brows also is you always want the tail end to be darker than the beginning um that way it's a little bit more defined and the dimension looks better visually so i'm just going to come in here i always do the dark part first and with the pencil i just kind of put a little bit more pressure behind my hand when doing it and then this is how i do my brows once again this is me and if you do it a totally different way, I get it. So then I'm putting that pressure and I'm lightening the pressure that I'm doing this now as I'm going further towards the beginning of the brow. So I don't know if you can kind of see the difference there. And as you do that, you can continue to brush it because that's blending everything in so you're not having those harsh lines. If you feel like you brushed it too much and now nothing's there, Dude, just go back and put it back. Like, it's not that serious. And the way we cut these brows, which I'll explain later, is a way to hide all your mistakes anyway. So, it just works out in itself. And I'm going to just do the same thing now over here. Um, when you're doing this to yourself, cut, don't try to, like, be like this, coloring it. Because this is not a coloring book. This is your face. So, try to keep your hands steady as much as possible by kind of finding, like, a spot and just going like that technique-wise. It's a little weird feeling at first, but you'll feel it is. It gives you more control of what you're actually doing as you do it. Once those are done, this is what they look like. So you can see they're definitely darker. The color I'm using also is Mocha in this brow pencil here. I like to use darker colors too. Um, sometimes maybe like in the summer when my skin is darker and more tan. This summer it was not because I did not go outside. You know, we were all quarantined all year. Well, I was following the rules. I don't know about everybody else, but I did not go outside. I think I went outside a couple times, but I definitely did not get as dark as I usually do. So it was definitely weird this year, but I, it's accepted. All right, so after that, I'm going to go in with whatever concealer you have. So this shade is CW03.5, and it's the HD Studio 1 um, that I get. So because this is mine, this is my personal one. I don't use this on clients, so I'm just, everybody don't freak out all of a sudden because I'm doing using the actual brush it comes with. 
So you can see I'm literally just chiseling out my brows right now. And it is so much easier with your brush when you have like this. I mean, if I did not do that, you'll just get like a flat foundation brush that they have them smaller version and you can just dip it into your products, you know, and then do it with that. Um, it kind of looks like this, but it's definitely more compact. This is fluffier because this is for eyeshadow, but we'll discuss that later. All right, so that's what you're going to look like for a hot second. And then I'm just going to take one of my um, correcting brushes that I have. I think this is a Real Techni Techniques brush. And I'm just going to blend it in so it's really fluffy, circly uh type brush and so with the found the concealer on the bottom usually i blend that in going down you can go you know you can blend it like this but i'm going to go down that up as much as possible because we want to go away from the shape we've created all right so once you've done that go ahead and start with this shade right here it's a very neutral shade and I'm just spreading that everywhere to kind of give me another base for what I'm going to be doing. And then after that, I think what I did, I'm just going to use the darker brown it comes with here with a different brush that looks like this. It's kind of the same fluffy brush also, but this is the one that's going to be going in the crease. And that's going to be like your dimension color. So I just did it, I did it very lightly. Nothing crazy. Anybody can do it, trust me. Cool. All right, so after that, the lid part, what I did was this pinkish color down here. And now these are more the shimmery ones. The other ones we used are more matte, which is that flat base um, color, which I love. And now this one is a shimmery color. So we're gonna pop that right on the lid. What I'm doing, I'm using a flatter, more compact brush. And I'm not so much like loading it up, I'm just patting it on to the brush. And applying like this kind of patting it at the same time into your skin so this one you just want to keep it in one place and I have hooded lids so it's very annoying because I only get like a limited amount of space for my actual lid so pay attention on that we'll go ahead and do another video on types of eyelids too and what's the right way to go about it so right, right there, I'm just gonna do the gold shimmer color that comes in this palette. And I'm gonna use the more fluffy side to go about it. And I'm just packing it in. You can use a smaller fluffy brush too, cause this is kind of big for this area. But I just had what I had and this is what I'm working with. I didn't bring all my brushes with me. Sometimes you just gotta make do with what you have. back so it's always of course very tricky to use and your line will get thicker if you mess up and that's okay like it's fine if it gets thicker if that's what you want to go with because it's like whatever at that point do it because I know I do so this one is the Stila stay all day waterproof liquid liner which the waterproof ones are the best um, the color of this is intense black so it's not black it's intense black, okay? Get it right. So, I usually, you don't want to like pull so hard and do start from here with that line and do it. with Especially with somebody with hooded lids. How I do, I just kind of hold my finger here. Just to hold like my position. Just like we were holding our position doing this. Not with this, but for our brows. Um, but yeah, I just like to hold it. I'll pull it a little bit, but it's not like super intense. So, I'm just going to start with a line that attaches to the top. And this will probably 
this is my first time doing this on camera so this will probably look crazy of course but that's okay because I'll show you the trick how to, about, how to go about it using the concealer and cleaning it up So with the skin, like I said in the beginning of the video, I already have my moisturizer on, SPF on, um, if I'm going out for the day. If I didn't do my makeup all day and I'm going out for the night, I'm not worried about SPF. I just put a simple moisturizer on, eye cream, good stuff like that. So we have the eye cream and everything on. And now I do come back before putting the primer on. This is also a primer, but it's a moisturizer as well. Um, and it's so cute because it's like a travel size. So this is the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer and Moisturizer in one. So I'm just going to pump a little bit. And I always make sure my hands are clean before doing anything like this. So it's a little light. She's a little light. That's okay. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer under my eyes. And I'm going to start kind of for, like shaping out the highlights in my face. Once again, just using this brush that it comes with. I'm not going to do like the huge triangles people will be doing because that is so extra to me. Um, but I do like to bring it up here which I feel lifts your eye and I do the same thing here I'm not mad at the people that do all the extraness but I'm just saying this is me and that's my life and with your liner go ahead and cut that out if you made any mistakes, that's how you can fix your eyeliner. If it's like not a perfect, you know, razor blade sharp edge, this is what you can do with the liner. It's covered up with the concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and do my setting powder on my con on my look at me on my highlight now, which is the Becca Hydra Mist. It's my favorite. I I don't know how I got this. I think I got it in my Boxy Charm one time, and. I was like, yo, this is the holy grail, and now that's what I use. So this one, the Hydra Mist, it's so dope because look how it comes. I don't know if you can... When you open it, it looks like a net, and the powder is behind the net, and in order to get it, you have to push down, and once you put it on your face, it feels wet. You're like, dude, did I wait? Is my concealer still wet, or what's going on? I was tripping when I first used it but that's how it feels and it's amazing because it's literally hydrating at the same time so this one i don't bake with um usually a lot you bake which is where you put it on and you leave it and then you go back and remove it this one i just press in as i'm doing it because it'll leave that white cast if you leave it on there so now we're gonna go in with the contour and i used this handy dandy contour which is a powder brush or excuse me powder blush from MAC, the Selena collection. The first one, this one is called Techno Cumbia. And we're gonna go in with the brush. So this is a Real Techniques brush and it's pretty fluffy. And I just kind of go around the area as you'll see, around the hairline here. And this is like the bronzer part. So this is what's darkening up my skin if I feel like my foundation is too light. Now I'm going in with my blush, which is, which is the Tarte Amazon Clay. This color is in Harmony. And because I didn't have another brush when I brought it, I'm using the same one. So don't even come for me like, ew, it's the same color, whatever. It worked. I made it work. 
So this highlighter I use is another part of a um, matte collab collaborating with Selena. Um, this one is super dope. Um, it's an extra dimension skin finish. So beautiful. I mean, look at that. And it's a rose. I can't fly it there. I mean, cut it out. No big deal. No big deal. Watch this, watch this. This is what I do too with my highlights and just kind of drag it. No big deal. So I'm gonna drag it up and I'm gonna bring it to my eye brow bone as well. Now we're gonna apply it just a little bit right here. Not a lot, just a little. We're gonna put lipstick on. I have the lipstick Dreaming of You, the Selena Mac collaboration. The first one they did with the purple packaging is so beautiful. It's one of my favorites and I'm almost out of it, of course. Wait, that wasn't it. Oh yeah, it was. So yeah, so I had that, but I have not used this one yet. This was the one that came from their latest um, collab they did with Selena. And this is Siempre Selena is the, is the shade. So it's super red. I'm not a fan of like super red lips in general, but let's try it out because I have not used it yet as you can see how clean it is. So we'll just do it for this video. I love the applicator for this though. It's super convenient looking. Like, look how thin it is. But let's see how it looks. And I don't really do a lip liner. I used to be really worried about lip liners, especially trying to define my lips, like, to big, to make it bigger in that Cupid spell area. But now I just use the lipstick and go about it like that. All right, my lips are ready. Here we go. Red lipstick is so nerve-wracking to put on, too. Cause as soon as you mess up, it takes 80 years to fix. I mean, look, already on my teeth. Are you joking? I can't. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I'll rock with this now. I like it. Especially the holidays are here. I, I might be using this. Okay. I like it. After everything is said and done, we're going to come in with our setting spray. Because I like to use other ones, but this is the one I had because it was convenient. And how I spray this, I don't just kind of like go like that. Sometimes I do because I forget. But I kind of like to do it like from the top and like do it downwards. So, and I close my eyes, of course. So I just make sure I get everything. And then I brush it off. All right, so this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Boom, boom, nothing crazy. If you ever want to just do a very simple look um, with skin though and everything foundation, just do a simple eyeshadow and pop a nice lash on and a lip color and you're good. Yeah, my teeth are good now. And I have these nose rings here too. So every time I do foundation, I always make sure, I know this looks gross, but I clean my nose rings off because the foundation will get on there and it'll like dry, it'll just wash them into my skin and they won't be nice and gold like they usually are but all right thank you so much for watching and i really hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or any concerns or anything to say at all just go ahead and leave a comment in the box below also while you're there go ahead and please subscribe to my channel like and share follow me on all platforms at cc loves including twitter which is cc loves underscore i'll go ahead and put that in the description box below also um, and let me know what else you want to see. Uh, I upload content every Monday, so look out for that, and I will see you next time. Thanks.